Afternoon everyone, afternoon here anyway in uh, the southeast of England, M0JCF Mark, uh, making a quick video by request. Um, he's an American ham, he's newly licensed in August, so he's got his tech level um, uh, license, and um, his first radio that he's bought, which I think is a baptism of fire, is a hybrid, in fact it's the same as this one, it's the Trusty Trio TS520S, uh, uh, a lovely hybrid radio, I've got three of them, uh, two I'm restoring, and uh, this one is working, uh, with a caveat, we'll, we'll come to that in a minute, um he, he he sent me a message and said you know newly licensed been watching your videos uh thank you very much you're watching the videos on youtube um the ts520 he just wanted uh me to go through the process the uh tune-up process and uh whilst my version of the tune-up process isn't perfect it works um i accept you know sometimes I, I might do things a bit slapdash a bit haphazard uh maybe that's just uh i get a bit, bit blase sometimes um i'm not a teacher my videos are not there as instructional videos per se my videos are on youtube because um i, I just like to make videos and store them somewhere and uh, as a consequence i seem to have had a, a small following of people uh, enthusiasts which i appreciate very much um <clears throat> it's not monetized or anything so the adverts that you see at the beginning of my videos are nothing to do with me i don't get paid for them that's just youtube i suppose uh are grabbing something because they're giving me a service for free but anyway we, we've got the ts520s he wanted a, a basic blow by blow how you tune up and uh, get the radio going i believe his is being checked over by an elmer so he, he isn't actually uh, using it at the moment so um i haven't got his call sign uh, to hand right at this moment so it'll be in the description anyway i said i would tag him in the description and send him a message so he's got the video i'm not sure if i've done one of these videos before uh there might be there's so many videos on that site now uh, and to be honest, I'm, I'm a, a fat, lazy old man and I can't be bothered to look through my own videos. So, I thought, you know, we'll just do another one and uh, see how it goes. OK, so you've got the TS520S. Um, above it is the v external VFO and uh, the frequency counter, which were both given to me uh, by another an old G3 or G4 ham in the west of England. Um, he had no use for them and he, and he just asked me if I'd like them otherwise they were going in the bin and you like you don't look it up you don't look a gift horse in the mouth as they say um, the power meter I'm using today is uh, this one here it's the RX 200 um, cross needle variety 300 watts it uh, it works very well and does the job for what I need uh, the dummy load that I'm using at the moment is a homebrew dummy load. It is 50 ohms. It's not rated anywhere near 100 watts. So if a smoke wafts across the uh, front of the um, of the video, then you'll know that uh, maybe I've keyed up too long. But generally, you can get away, you know, with um, a reasonably well enough keying up uh, uh, to to actually. Um, uh, uh, you know demonstrate uh, uh what what you need to to do i'm waffling now i'm yabbering on so let's get on with it he wanted it blow by blow from the beginning so we are connected radio we're connected to the um, power meter and we are connected to a dummy load to start with um the dummy load is open it sometimes picks up really strong signals uh, we're on 40 meters that's uh, where i last used this radio in the summer so um, let's let's go ahead and uh, let's just make the video. So you've got your power switch. That's obvious, isn't it? We switch on, radio comes on, a little bit of volume there. But uh, that's all right. We like a bit of background volume. It just shows us that it is working. Um, first thing to remember is your heater switch for the valves. This is a hybrid. It's got three valves. It's got a driver. It's got two finals. Um, you switch that on, uh, give it a little while, just, you know, 30 seconds to warm up and uh, then, then we can begin. What some people do forget is, and I've done it myself, often I've turned off the heaters because, you know, I've just been using it as a receiver. Then I thought, oh, I, I want to talk to that person. I've picked up the mic and, you know, I'm keying up and keying up and nothing's happening. Oh, no, what's going on? It's because I didn't turn the heaters on on the valves, valves tubes in America. So anyway, 
uh, we should be nicely warmed up. So the first thing we want to do is set the um, the ALC. Now the ALC, uh, uh, the, that's the pre-driver valve, and um, it's uh, uh, the grid. You're, you're altering uh, the grid. So yeah, maybe my terminology is wrong. Read up on some valve or transistor theory. You'll, you'll get the idea. But anyway, um, the drive level needs to be set. Uh, so that's the drive to the grid. And on, on the pre-driver valve, now then, my valves in this radio are getting tired. Uh, the pre-driver valve, or the driver valve rather, um, I can't remember the number off the top of my head, it is getting low on emission, and the ALC isn't overly stable, it, and sometimes never stable. You know, it comes with the territory with old radios. I need, I've, got, I've got plenty of finals uh, to replace but um i haven't got any uh i don't think i've got any driver valves at the moment but uh anyway that that's not something that you need to worry about so we've switched on we've switched on the heater okay so we switched this knob up here to alc and what we're looking for is a reading in this arc here so what we do is uh we switch the mode switch to tune Tune will limit the output to tens of watts, okay? Um, normally 10, 20 watts, uh, depending on your state of tune. Okay, now you can use the microphone to key up, or you can use the uh, send switch. So what we need to do is we need to set the drive. What I normally do is I normally set it about halfway to start. I find that's a good point on this particular radio. And if we press send... You can see the needles flipped right the way over. Okay, so we, we don't want it. If it's pegging, you need to back off the drive now. We're halfway, okay? I don't know if the video's picking up that white line there. We're halfway. So we flick it to send, and we're backing off. Back off, back off, back off. And as you can see, I, I'm at a point where I, I really cannot get uh, the drive level stable. Normally, when you know it, it's dropping off, when you try to get to a correct level, right? Let's turn that off. Um, yeah, when you, you it, this one, as I say, is a bit quirky. Uh, you know, it's an old radio, it does need some work, but anyway, the ALC is roughly set. Now, ideally, what you'd like to do is have that needle nice and stable uh, near the top of that arc, is where I would go, but. Uh, it's just not going to happen. We could spend the rest of this video all day long until the memory runs out on the phone, and that will never stay stable. Um, it started happening probably nine months ago. I knew what was going on. Uh, it's something that I've just come to accept. So anyway, now we need to uh, set the plate current for the finals. Okay, we, we've effectively done the driver valve. Now we're setting the plate current. And what we need to do is set this control. Now, could you see the difference there? We've got some noise there because I've adjusted things. As I say, it's a quirky old girl. Okay, so we, we set it to seven megahertz center point. Okay, so what we wanna do now, is we wanna check the plate current and we're looking for approximately 225 milliamps. Uh, some people will swear by a lot less. Uh, some people will drive them to the max you can drive them to the max and you can get yourself lots of watts you know you can get a well over well over 150 watts but you know the difference between 100 watts and 150 watts signal wise at the other end makes no difference whatsoever and uh life wise for your valves your tubes it's gonna it's gonna diminish them quite a lot so we're looking for 225 milliamps so on or rather not yet we're not we're looking uh because uh, we're only on tune, we're only on low power. So what we do is we we need to dip. What we want to do is get the lowest reading using the plate control. We need to get the lowest reading. Well, it was pretty much there. So there we go. That's about the lowest reading we're going to get. Um, it's always wise um, in between you know operations. I let everything cool down slightly, uh, particularly my dummy load. So here we go um so now we want to give it some more power flick to cw remembering we're still going into a dummy load we're not tuning over the top of anyone having said that i'm using an open dummy load 
I'm probably radiating a signal, uh, possibly, you know, via the ionosphere, but uh, I can't hear anyone, so I'm hoping that we don't. Anyway, rambling on again. So, we're looking for 225 milliamps now. We're now going to transmit uh, a bit more power, and there we go. So, we tune to dip, so we're just under 200 milliamps. Let's bring up the load very slightly. Not a lot, very, very slightly. And bang, there we go. We're over 250 milliamps. Okay, let's back off the load very, very slightly. Uh, we're getting there. Let's uh, get that needle to dip. You're looking for a dip. It's you know, counterintuitively, you're looking for it going down. You're reducing your plate current. Let's back that off just very, very slightly. There we go, about 225 milliamps there. Still in CW, go to RF. Oh, I forgot to say, carrier. I've got my carrier set at about 75%, 70, 75%. Um, I should have mentioned that at the beginning. But, um, not, you know, not so important. It is for CW. You can alter your power on CW using the carrier. Uh, with uh, SSB, you would use microphone gain to um, alter your power, your speech power. So, um, let's, uh, let's see now. Uh, how many watts are we putting out? Okay, about a, a 140 watts there. So we, we can reduce that ever so slightly. We, we really don't want to be um, running the nuts off this thing. So let's uh, back that off just slightly. There we go. And about 125 watts there. 120, 125 watts. So, will it work? Let's go to LSB. Now we need to connect an antenna. So... We will, uh, you have to bear with me. Wow, oh, that is hot, that. that dummy load is hot and it smells hot. Oh dear. Okay. And, got my tuner. Uh, you can't see the tuner in the video. There's no real need for you to see the tuner either. Okay, so. Let's find a clear spot. Got quite a high noise floor today. Okay, go to CW. Just going to tune. Okay, we're just tuning the antenna. That will do. So, let's see if we can uh, talk to someone. Let's go back to RF. Pick up the microphone. Go to LSB. I think that is my friend Jimmy, MM0JVB, up in near Glasgow. This is Mike Zero, Juliet, Charlie, Foxtrot. 
Uh, thank you for the 59. You're also 59 in the southeast of England. Okay, many thanks, Mark. Uh, many thanks for coffee uh, from uh, England. Uh, 73, good luck. I'll to see you again. Bye. Uh, 73, good luck and enjoy your activation. There you go. It's a, a POTA station, I believe. Was that Delta Papa 44 POTA? Oh. Delta Papa 44, November 44 Tango. Um, he seemed to know who I was. <laughs> Probably found me on the database straight away. But there you go, he's coming in uh, 5 and 9 plus uh, 10. And that's with the RF attenuator in. Once again, the AGC is a little bit off on this radio as well. So I tend to, on strong signals, add that in. It seems to give me a, a good indication. Uh, that was 5 and 9. Um, there you go, I think, I think that was it. Um, I don't know, should I go through the tune-up procedure just once more? No, there's no need, is there? You can rewind the video. I do tend to waffle. I've waffled on a bit. Um, uh, I, you know, I, I, let's, uh, let's just uh, find a clear spot. Okay, I believe we're, I believe, I believe we're on um, 7 decimal 148. Uh, no, we're not. Somebody's nearby. Very crowded bound this afternoon. Okay, one decimal, uh, sorry, seven decimal one six two. Is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use? Please, Mike Zero, Juliet, Charlie, Foxtrot. Is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use, please? This is Mike Zero, Juliet, Charlie, Foxtrot. Okay, thank you, sir. I will QSY. For those of you interested, I'm using the 90 foot or 27 meter long uh, long wire antenna. goes into a 9 to 1 un un and then uh, coax into the shack right oh, we're in trouble today Very crowded band today, 40 metres. Oh, my processor is now on. There's the processor push pull. I wasn't using the processor. Elements, you do obviously quite a bit on 
on uh, on VHF and UHF. And um, and I'm going to show you. Oh, you've been licensed a few years then. Uh, it's, it's good if you put that down the bottom there, because that's one of the questions I was going to ask you, how, how long you've been nice a licensed, because I have, have no concept of, of what's a new or an old license uh, of the M7 z z uh, series, I must admit. And I'm, uh, I've been away from the radio for a, a month or two, and, and you sort of lose touch with what's going on, so uh, that was one of the questions I was going to ask you. But, uh, but there you go. Anyway, if you have got the processor, wind it up there, Kelvin, let's see if it's any better. Mike 7 Kilo Juliet Whiskey, a Golf 8 Alpha X-Ray Zulu, right? Yeah, Alpha X-Ray Zulu, and you've got these code Yeah, I think that's the same for that one. He's a bit muffled to me, processor or not. Yeah, I'm going to go to the top of the top Video's going on a bit long now. Just want to prove a point here. Let's leave them to carry on testing. I will find a spare frequency. Where are we? 7195. 7191's occupied. Mike Zero, Juliet, Charlie, Foxtrot. Mike Zero, Juliet, Charlie, Foxtrot. A very good afternoon. Thanks for the call. Your five line in South East Como. The name is Alistair. Go ahead, over. A very good afternoon to you, Alistair. Uh, the name this end is Mark in Sid Cup in Kent. And uh, nice to actually uh, work. Uh, I think you're the first transatlantic uh, uh, award station that um, I've uh, worked. Uh, I'm using a TS520S and just doing a demonstration. So uh, very pleased to get you in the logbook. Five and nine plus ten, by the way. Back to you. Thanks for sure, so nine plus ten. Yes, I've been on since it started last Thursday, and it will run right through the whole of the month of December. There's eleven special calls to work, and um, it'll be working in all modes on the HF bands, uh, that's uh, CW, SSB, and digital. And uh, it's just a question of uh, hunting around until we find find somebody to pounce upon. So I wish you luck with that. Uh, back to you from GCDR. Over. Yeah, G3, Delta Romeo, Mike Zero, Juliet, Charlie, Fox, trotting uh, Sid Cup returning. Well, Alistair, it's an absolute pleasure to speak to you. I won't hold you up. Obviously, um, uh, with the station there, you're probably trying to grab as many uh, distance contacts as you can. But as I say, it was more, uh, I was demonstrating this old TS520S using a 90 foot long wire and about 110 watts. And uh, it was just, uh, there you was, a lovely, lovely clear signal 
signal, great audio on the signal, and um, I thought it'd be very rude not to uh, at least exchange reports with you. Um, as you can tell, I tend to wrap it on. I'm one of these people that tends five minutes to uh, to say goodbye, but uh, now you're sounding great down there, and uh, I look forward to working uh, more of the stations in the near future. I did hear Jeff, uh, GM8 OFQ, running one of the uh, uh, transatlantic stations up on the uh, Hoy um, in the Orkney Islands at the weekend, but I tried to work him QRP, and um, I, I was having no joy. I just couldn't get through his pileup, so uh, maybe another time. I'll probably hunt around for him now and find him um, and work him quite happily. I do quite often. Uh, Alistair, I'm waffling, so I'll say goodbye and um, have a fantastic afternoon. Uh, Bye-bye for now. Yeah, 73 is Alistair, and um, yeah, thanks for the information. Yes, you're right, it, that that was him um, up in Scotland. Uh, G3, uh, oh, no, forget it, forget it. <laughs> I've, uh, I've forgotten the call sign in my head, but um, I'll, I'll pick it up off my paperwork in a second. I'll, I'll, I'll stop waffling. Bye-bye for now, mate. Delta Romeo. Delta Romeo. <laughs> 73, bye-bye. 73, Alistair. Uh, G3DR, M0JCF, now clear. Go free Delta Romeo, special call, listening. Uh, that's what happens when uh, you try to multitask. You know, we, we have trouble multitasking, don't we, us hams? Um, you know, operating a radio, speaking on a radio, and trying to um, make sure that, you know, you're videoing for someone. But there you go. That was the TS520S five, uh, um, analog hybrid radio uh, on 40 metres. That was the uh, tune up procedure. And um, that was the, sorry, my LED lights having a bit of a, a wobbler there. Um, yeah, that was a tune-up procedure and, and in operation. If I could find a spare frequency, I'd stand there calling the CQ. But as you can see, um, it's a very crowded band today. So uh, it's, it's just not going to, well, it could happen if I had some patience. But for this exercise, I didn't. Anyway. That's a, a 27 minute video. Hopefully you'll get a few minutes um, use out of it. Uh, and um, we'll catch you uh, probably around the band somewhere. Cheers. <laughs>